case of measles was detected in Polk County. Well, this case marks more than 35 across the entire country, including an outbreak at an elementary school in Broward County. News Channel 8's Alessandra Young has more on the tips you can use to keep you and your families safe. The Florida Department of Health here in Polk County says that the infected person is between the ages of 20 and 24 and that the case was reported sometime last week. I feel like measles is something we haven't worried about for no. years, really, because most were vaccinated. With the first confirmed case of measles in Polk County, doctors in the area are telling people to have a heightened awareness. Coughing a lot, they are eyes start running and their nose starts running. Uh, they also developed this really high fever uh, and rash. Measles is very contagious. It doesn't take long to be exposed to somebody with measles to catch it. But then there's what's called the incubation period, where after exposure, you're feeling fine for up to 7 to 14 days, and then you get sick. Medical experts say the airborne virus causes a rash in your mouth, and then you develop a large blotchy rash all over your body. It can be a challenging illness, but uh, have, having a community aware and hopefully just one case, uh, you know, we'll keep our fingers crossed. Measles is more common in children and older people. We're most concerned about the very young under the age of five catching measles and those over 20 actually start to get more severe cases. Um, if you're pregnant, this can cause problems like premature birth and low birth weight. We have we grandkids, so we, you yeah, know, we do worry about them. One set of them doesn't like to get vaccinations and so we kind of worry. And doctors recommend you get vaccinated for it if you're not already. Even a vaccinated person can catch it, but it, it tends to spread easier in an unvaccinated person and the complications can go up. They say there are rare complications that can come with measles like pneumonia and swelling of the brain, so people need to be careful. I am a liver transplant patient, so yeah, I have a little bit of concern. My immune system is depressed. Doctors say there is no treatment. You just take medications like Tylenol and Motrin, trying to get that temperature down, and you hydrate a lot. In Polk County, Alessandra Young, 8 on your side.